beautiful Woodland Bowl in Indianapolis, Indiana, a showpiece, 70 lane center, recently renovated, and one of the absolute jewels, the Yankee Stadium of Pro Bowling. I love this place. I, I was fortunate enough to win here back in the 90s, and just a great place to come back to, a lot of history. Speaking of history, three times a winner at the Masters, starting in 2013. And then in 2014, the first repeat winner in half a decade. Yeah, and the first time anyone has ever run the ladder to win the Masters. And then the unthinkable three straight Masters titles. Jason Belmonte. Three-time defending champion here. Mike Fagan winning before that. Tom Hess in Reno. And we've already seen Walter Ray Williams Jr. and Randy, one of the all-time great feats in pro bowling history. Yeah, it, it was pretty special to watch and fortunate to be able to call the action. And he, uh, he was owning the Masters and made a nice run at this year's Masters until he ran into Big West. Match number two, Chris Loschetter. Dictates West Milan will begin opening shot. Over third arrow. And a strike for West Milan. Just one of the prettiest releases in our sport. West Milan just kind of feathers that ball off of his hand. It's just so soft at the bottom. You see how soft he goes through it. And that hand rotates around the side of that ball. And it's a unique ball roll. Chris Loeschetter had a rough. 2015 campaign called it his worst year on tour and he has got the routine back practice physical conditioning and now competitive bowling opening shot and congrats to uh, Chris Loeschetter and his wife Aaron new baby boy back in uh, May I think one day after my birthday May 29th Emmett was born a little premature and everyone was doing well and part of the distractions and part of life. And now Chris Loeschetter back on track. He feels he is back and he makes this major title. Coming in on number three seat, second frame. Splits the eight and the nine. Double for Loeschetter out of the gate. Looks like there's a little bit of hold area that's been developing on that left lane. Chris Lotion, or the higher seed, he gets a choice of starting lane and where he finishes. So he chose to have West start the match so that he can finish on that left lane. Part of West Malat's resume is operating a pro shop, and he loves giving back to the industry and the community. His Malat's All Stars Youth Championship has raised over seventy-five thousand dollars. And double piece. Kimberly Pressler is lane side. Thanks, guys. Tom, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Despite this loss, you've had a really good run the past two weeks. You made two majors in a row, and you still have the Players' Championship next week. How do you move forward? Well, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. We get one game to, to do our thing, and someone's going to come on top. Someone's going to lose. So we got next week, practice sessions tomorrow. We've got a couple-hour drive tonight, and we're just going we're gonna to get there. We're going to go back at it next week, see if we can make another show. All right, good luck, and thanks so much. Thank you. Knowledge and image on tour combined with craftsmanship are a, a big part of the Malak mystique. Yes! Turkey! You can already see how much farther left Wes has migrated from game one till now. Just on the other side of third arrow, and that's how quick the lane's transition. Loschetter's game is keeping his angles in front of him. Keeping his hands soft. What does keeping your hands soft do for low shatter? Don't grab it. Don't hit up on it. Nice and soft at the bottom. Just let the ball roll out of your hand. Touch high, four, seven. Again, similar Pace. ball rotation to Tom Doherty in that there's a little bit more roll to this action than there is side roll. So a little more end over end makes the ball read sooner. It's also going to make the bowling ball read transition quicker. It's also going to make it react more violent once it sees friction. And major mental error, missed spare.
and a look at Chris Loschetter's path through the double elimination match play, defeating Brandon Novak, dispatched to the elimination bracket early and then running off a string of victories. Haugen, Bohr, Aguiar, Prather, Kent, and Ryan Simonelli. And then he finished top in the four-man eliminator to earn his number three seed. Fourth frame. Oh, and a six pin. Too much up the lane on that shot. Goes high. Obviously shaken after missing the 4-7 on the right lane, but this is way too straight up the boards. It's got to give it some head belly and some room to the right. Spare for low shutter. Bowls out of Oberlin College Lanes in Oberlin, Ohio. Chris out of Avon, Ohio, 35 years old, 12 years a pro. Will need to overcome the missed spare, and West Milan showing no signs of slowing down at this point. He'll make a move the next time he's on that right lane as his ball goes high flush. Four in a row increases the lead to 34. Watch this. 16th board at the Arrows. Four going late. And as a player, you know the next time up on that lane, you have to make an adjustment left to find more oil to hold the ball off. As we mentioned, Wes returning to what he considers player of the year form. He earned that player of the year award in 2009 after winning three titles during that season. On the four back of fifth frame. Yeah. Understated West. It's bowling great. Low shedders got to start striking. Get back in this and put a little pressure back on West Milan. Columbia 300 fun fact with this event, Indianapolis has now hosted 37 PBA Tour events, and Woodland Bowl has hosted 32 times, including 12 majors, crossing over six pin. What's really cool about Woodland is after you win, they put your banner up, and uh, there's just a, an array of PBA banners with uh, the players' last names on them, all the champions that have won here. Impressive facility, 70 lanes straight across. And Low Shedder is in trouble. Yeah, he's in big trouble. He's got. The United States Bowling Congress Masters rolls on from Woodland Bowl in Indianapolis, Indiana. Technical difficulties in Indianapolis have been cleared up. We apologize for leaving you so abruptly. And we apologize to Wes Ballant and Chris Loeschetter for disrupting their match, which was commanded by Wes Ballant. Wes Ballant perfect through the first five frames. Ballant in control and uh, Chris Loeschetter in the sixth frame with a nine and spare, and now we will resume right where we left off with Wes Mallott on the front five strikes. The winner here will move on to our semifinal and face Dan McClelland. 19-year-old Anthony Simonson awaits in our title match. Wes Mallott, 46 pins, and the players receiving a couple of extra shots, Randy, during our break to stay loose. Yeah, and last time on this lane, Wes Mallott a little rotund. I look for him to move towards the center part of the lane a little bit more. Find a little bit more oil. Help the ball skid down the lane. And it's high, and a roller misses the 10 pin. Hard to see around Big West, but he asks this one to curve, and it just comes in just a pinch late and almost gets the roller 10. Oh, 
Mike J. Right now, Wes Malott's making this oil pattern look easy. Front five and a spare, 45 pin lead over Chris Loschetter. Loschetter missing the spare back in the third. He doubled, opened, and then three nine counts in a spare. Malott in command, plus 45. Seventh frame. Malott bowls out of his home center, Highland Lanes in Austin, Texas. Operates a pro shop. Intimate knowledge of the equipment. Yes. And intimate contact with the 710. He raced, striking the seven. Positive. Come on. And Malott, the only major championship winner on today's telecast. Six of seven strikes for Wes Malott. Chris Loschetter needs to find something very quickly. Max score of 224. Light and just one remains. And there's the dilemma. He goes Brooklyn the last time on the right lane and then moves in and tries to open the lane up and goes light. Wes Malott is creating a reaction none of the other players have gotten close to yet. Fourth straight nine spare for Chris Loschetter. Tonight at 11 Eastern, join us for a special Valentine's edition of Sports Center at night with the two Johns. They'll have all the highlights from the NBA All Star Game, Kobe's Last Ride, the NHL Pebble Beach, and let you know if there were any more upsets in college basketball. Sports Center at night tonight, right here on ESPN and streaming live on Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. Getting late for Low Shedder. Between third and fourth there, and a better shot. Six gets the ten. Good more like it. Ellie has to strike out and hope that Malott runs into a boatload of trouble here with three frames to go. I don't see that happening. Wes has been great at staying in front of the transition, in front of the oil pattern changing, and he's been making great shots. Six of seven strikes for Malak can extend his lead with another strike, eighth frame. Solid. Last time on this lane, just a, a little bit soft into the pocket. So what does Wes Malak do? Well, he gives this one the business. Right there at the bottom, gives it a little extra. Look at the rotation on that bowling ball. Big Wes in command, foundation frame. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice. That's too good. Yeah. Haven't done that in a while. A little premature on the react there as wow. Wes was not expecting to leave a solid nine pin. That's a burr under the saddle for the Texan. All right. Cleans up the spare, big lead. Best low shatter can do is 223. That's why I don't get excited very often. At least on the outside. But we know you're excited on the inside, Wes. So you're not fooling us. Low shatter doubles up. Likely too little, too late. So with more side rotation, Chris Loeschetter could now kind of duplicate what Wes Malott's doing. But when he's more end over end, as wife Erin Loeschetter looks on and giving us the Valentine's Day hand signs, it, it, it's, it's all about ball rotation. And Loesch is known for rolling it. Malott is known for getting on the side of it. You can see the ball just laboring down lane. Wide and double wood, and Wes Malott will advance to the semifinal and face Dan McClelland. You want less down lane reaction, keep your hand up the back. You want more down lane reaction, get your hand off the side.
Phil Ball for Lowshedder in the 10th, and Wes Malott moves along the stepladder. He has reached the semifinal. Dan McClelland from Canada will face him next. The winner will move on to face 19-year-old Anthony Simonson. Wes Malott, every bit the future Hall of Famer. More when we return to Woodland Bowl. It's the Masters. The PBA's Big February comes to a conclusion with Extra Frames exclusive live coverage of the Barbasol PBA Players Championship starting Tuesday. Log on for all the action from the third consecutive major in the month of February. Three-day, monthly, and yearly subscriptions are available. Click on the Extra Frame link at pba.com for more information. United States Bowling Congress Masters is halfway home. Wes Balot, 258. Wes Malott, 258, defeating Tom Doherty and Chris Loeschetter, moving now to our semifinal match, Malott versus Dan McClelland. United States Bowling Congress Masters, presented by the United States Bowling Congress, the governing body for the sport of bowling. In 2015, USBC led major breakthroughs for the sport headlined by the relaunch of the PWBA Tour. It's so important that the PWBA is around because of all these young girls coming up in the collegiate ranks, in junior gold, there has to be a platform for them to bowl on. Deliver the PWBA back to the sport of bowling, especially women, is something that's, that's very special. On the youth side, USBC Collegiate set a record surpassing more than 200 schools with college bowling, while Junior Gold also grew to new heights and crowned champions on television. The Junior Gold program has just been a real beacon of success within our sport. The men's and women's U.S. Opens showcase the professionals. USBC's investment in Team USA helped lead to a world championship overseas. And here it is, Liz Johnson delivers the 300, and Team USA wins the gold medal here in Abu Dhabi. While back home, the USBC Open and Women's Championships gave tens of thousands of members the ultimate bowling experience. Most importantly, USBC continued to invest in local associations providing support to the nation's league bowlers. There just isn't a minute that goes by today um, in this office or even our locals in the field where we aren't ensuring tomorrow um, and building a better and brighter future for our sport. Chad Murphy, the executive director for the United States Bowling Congress, and Kelly Kulik representing the board of directors for the national governing body. So many reasons to be a member of the USBC. Coming up next at the Masters, Wes Ballant takes on Canadian Dan McClelland.